Hi, today we've been out testing Aprilia's Dorsa Duro 1200. This is one fun motorcycle. It's 1200cc V-twin, and as you can see, it's a motard. And how much fun is this bike? Well, it's 130 horsepower, 115 newton meters of fun. So your Dorsa Duro doesn't look like your regular run-of-the-mill road bike, and it isn't. 925 mils, tip to tip. So if you're going through a gate, you've got to allow for it, or you could always raise them a wee bit to get through the tight gap. At first glance, you might be thinking, it's a big dirt bike with road tires. Wrong. It's a dedicated tire baby. This little screen actually does take a lot of the wind off your chest when you're getting up in the rate of knots. These bark buses got nothing to do with bush. They're mainly aesthetics, but they do give your hands a little bit of protection, and they look very racy in a motard style way. Got 320 mil discs, Brembo radially mounted four piston brakes. It stops on a dime. It does have a few concessions to the motarding ethos, if you like. It's got longer travel. It's got 160 mils at the front, 155 at the back, which makes it a fun bike for cruising the back roads, bumpy roads. If you wanted to get carried away, you could take off those gorgeous Pirelli tyres and put on some slightly chunkier ones and take on a little bit of gravel if you wanted to. But realistically, this thing is designed for the tight, twisty, tar seal roads, and at that, it is brilliant. Now the Dorsa Duro is a quirky looking piece of machinery, and it's a deliberate act. The big upward facing twin pipes, the serrated foot pegs, it's purely about looking the part. Now this bike has nothing to hide, so it hides nothing. This sax, it's an inverted sax shock on the back. It's got sax suspension at the front. Both ends are two-way adjustable. The trellis frame hooks onto these nicely milled aluminium sections. It's a very in-your-face sort of a bike, and it's a very in-your-face sort of a ride. The big dirt bike looking shrouds are there for two reasons. One, to key your knees in for when you're playing in the corners. And the other one is to funnel all that air at the radiator. They're big, they're wide, they don't get in your way because it feels very narrow in the waist than it is. But the tank in this is underneath this plastic shroud and it's only 15 litres, so it's not really going to be for big miles. That being said, there's a lot of accessories for it. Tail tidy, tank bags, to do exactly that. Would you? Not sure. Now that 1200cc 90 degree V-twin is controlled by a fly-by-wire throttle, seamless, it's got three maps, one of them's for rain so it smoothens it out, makes sure that you get home nice and safe, one of them's for touring, which is actually a, a nice thing to have, especially when you're two up, speaking of which it's not really designed for that, it's a very selfish bike which is kind of cool, but you can put a pillion on there if you want, just don't ask them to sit there for too long. And then there's one which is going to see 99.9% .9 of the time, and that's a sports map. And by that, it's a really sporty V-twin. It gets to 4,500 RPM and goes, yeah, baby, let's go and play. So, Aprilia Dorsa Duro 1200, it's not overly sensible. It's a little bit politically incorrect, but it is extremely cool. So there you have it. Is there a place for a 1200cc motard? My oath. <laughs>